Yo, what up, what up, what up? Uh, so, today was a good day. I went to uh, Goodwill. Picked up a couple things. It seems like I've been to Goodwill since they opened. Every day except the day before yesterday. Uh, and I done spent $100 every time. So, today was no different. Uh, however, I did buy more clothes than I usually do. I don't usually do clothes too much because they're so sellers. Uh, but today, I don't, I guess because the location, it was a new location I've never been to. Um, they don't really have much, but I think I picked up some good things. They had quality. I'll tell you that much. Wasn't a whole lot of, you know, resale for eBay, but they had good quality things. Uh, it was more of the upper echelon part. Uh, of time. I actually was in a different city outside of where I'm at now. But anyway, so I got three bags of things. Um, most of them are clothes. I'll start with non-clothes first. I picked up this uh, Wii bag. Uh, I didn't look it up or anything. I know it looks new. It feels new. Uh, I know I can at least get 15 to 20 dollars out of this. Uh, I paid what's that $4.99 so there's a chance I was willing to take if I can make $10 on it that's sweet enough for me I also picked up this vintage uh, as seen on TV kid switch that's what it's called um, it's basically for kids uh, that can't reach the uh, light switch and it glows in the dark. So you just basically uh, attach it to the wall and they can pull the little moon and it turns off the switch. So I thought that was pretty cool. Picked it up for 99 cent. Uh, I didn't look at any comps or anything. Um, but it seems pretty cool. I like it. I wish I'd had it when my son was where he couldn't reach it. Now he's all over the place. Turn light on or off even when you don't want them to. Uh, third thing I picked up was this uh, Ravensburger 3D puzzle. Uh, Ravensburger sells really well. This one's new in the package. And it is a puzzle of a shoe. So it'll be a 3D shoe, uh, pencil, a utensil holder, I guess, sneaker. Uh, paid $1.99 for that. I think I looked up the comps on these. I think it's around $20, if I'm not mistaken. I have to go back and look. If I find it, I'll throw it up on the screen for you. But yeah, new unbox, so I picked that up. Uh, what is this? Oh, <clears throat> this is an attachment uh, for a game. It's an Activision uh, trap Traptanium, excuse me, portal uh, for Xbox 360. And these are going for around $15 to $20. And I paid $1.99 for it. Uh, so that was a good pickup. Assuming that it works. I don't have an Xbox to test it. So um, I'm just going to assume that it works. I may list it for uh, as untested. I don't know. Uh, but I know somebody that has an Xbox. Maybe I'll swing by their, their house and see if it works. All right. So into the oh wait before I get to that picked up this uh, Maxwell digital camera battery charger new um, $3.99 is what I paid I think these are pretty uh, sell pretty well probably anywhere between $15 and $20 I didn't look up the comp it was new so I grabbed it now I think that's all the um, I think that's all the products. So anyway, here I got this really neat um, core sweater, uh, spider. Now these, I think I've seen a few comps. It wasn't a lot of comps on there, but I've seen a few comps for around $45. I picked it up for $6.99. Most of these in here are $6.99 actually, including the jeans. Um, so I'm not going to complain about that. It looks brand new. I mean, if it was worn, it wasn't worn much. 
no snags, no tears, no smells. It's just a really cool couple hairs on there, maybe dog hair. Could be my dog hair actually. Nope, because it was in a bag. Yeah, dog hair. Uh, but it looks in great condition. Um, so I'm excited about that. Second item was, oh, I didn't see that. Didn't see this. That's what happens when you rush. The friend is at the bottom of these jeans. Ah. Let's see if I can take those back in exchange. Goodwill to do exchanges on clothes up to seven days. Um, so I'll probably take these back. But these was, uh, I thought they were cool. Uh, some True Religion jeans, World Tours. It's the Rickies. Uh, size 38. I like these because they have the leather flap. You don't see the leather flap too much. However, and I just realized this one's missing a button. Um, but the jeans in general are pretty cool. I mean, who cares? It's really, nobody really uses that button for anything, but it's just the fact that it doesn't have it. Um, devalue it, plus the French bottoms. So, and true religion is kind of dying out anyway. Only reason I picked these up is because it did have the leather flaps and the leather, le the leather flap in the front as well. So I thought they were pretty cool. Uh, yeah, they are authentic truths, but they are going back. I'll, put, I'll take those back. All right. Third piece of apparel will be these uh, Polo Ralph Lauren uh, 15941s. These are classics. I love them. I've always loved this style of uh, polo jeans. I've had a few myself. Actually, I might keep these for myself. They're in really good condition. The bottoms are good. No no stains. Uh, they may be a little bit big, but I'll try them on and see. I'm going to list them until they sell anyway. Picked them up for $6.99 as well. And I got two pair of these, uh, yeah, since I get it out the bag. Two pair of these uh, Bulwark fire resistant jeans. So if you guys don't know, uh, any kind of fire resistant jeans, jacket, uh, shirt, um, they sell really well and they sell really quick. Uh, every time I see anything fire resistant, I'm grabbing it. As long as it's in good condition, no holes, you know, heavy stains that I probably couldn't get out, like ink or something. Um, but usually, uh, well, you know, the ones that I've always picked up or came across have been in really good condition. I haven't really came into contact with any of them that wasn't. jeans or flame resistant jeans uh, sell very well you should always pick those up if they're in good condition uh, you can't really go wrong the last pair I came across uh, was back in March and uh, now granted these are bulwark fire resistant or flame resistant um, they're not as valuable as like say Ariat for example, because that's the last one that I saw uh, sold was an area. Um, and I've came across a few area flame resistance. Uh, I listed it, I think for like $40 uh, plus shipping and not even 45 minutes later, I got an offer for 35. I accepted it. Uh, I paid no, I didn't pay $6.99 because all jeans at Goodwills are $6.99 unless they're on special. That particular one was on special, I think. I don't remember if it was a 25% off or a 75% off. Either way, call it, I paid $5, whatever, uh, for the jeans. Listed it for $40, sold it for $35 within, under, within the hour, uh, plus shipping. The guy was in an hour away from here. 
so shipping wasn't that much. Um, you can't beat that. You can't beat it at all. So if you see anything that says FR like this, let's say FR on there. Uh, so flame resistant or fire resistant. I can't remember exactly which one. Let me see what it says. Yeah, flame resistant. Um, grab them. You won't you won't lose on those. So with the with these, I think I'm gonna bundle these up to get a quick sale. I'm gonna list these for uh, $39.99 plus shipping. Um, only down part about <laughs> list them in a bundle, I can't fit these in a, a padded flat rate envelope. Uh, I can fit one pair but I can't fit two in the flat rate envelope uh, padded. So um, I'm probably gonna have to put those in a number seven box or something like that. Um, so I'll figure that out later. But that was a good pickup right there. Now granted, the, neither one of these were on sale. They didn't have any discounts today on these because uh, they were red. Today is green or this week is green. So six nine nine six nine nine. I'm in it for fourteen dollars plus tax. I'm in it for fifteen dollars. Uh, I'm gonna make a quick twenty dollars ish on it after fees and everything. So yeah, pick them up if you can. So that's that bag. This bag here. Uh, oh yes. Uh, now I came across this. Uh, and this is an Alpine Stars uh, motorcycle jacket. Uh, it is the uh, Breeze Air model. Now these sell any kind of motorcycle jackets. Uh, if it's re a really good name brand, they sell very well. Um, this one is basically like new for the most part. No tears, no rips no snags especially like in this mesh material mesh material clothing as you know snags um no snags at all it's uh it's really clean only thing is it has uh like where the white stripe is that's dirty uh, but you can wash these these have pads in them actually now i can sell this two different ways i can take the pads out and just sell the jacket so it'll just be the jacket purchase and sell the pads separately um, I have to weigh my options on and look up the comps and see what the pads are used uh, for the uh, for this type of jacket. Uh, if it's not worth it, I'll just include it in there. Now, the Alpine jackets, you can look it up. They go anywhere between average of 75 uh, pre-owned all the way up to about 140, 150 pre-owned. Uh, you can get them new for around 190, something like that, 175 maybe. Uh, depending on the model and some models are discontinued and some models are favorite uh, this particular style here I have not seen uh, listed or sold uh, so I'm thinking I'm gonna probably list it with the pads um, $425 plus shipping and we'll see how that goes I don't think it's gonna sit long this jacket by itself will pay for everything that i uh that i bought today because i i only spent a hundred and five dollars i think with tax where's the receipt at yeah i don't know where the receipt is but 105 dollars with tax i believe what's the exact number and I can't find it anywhere at any rate as Commonwealth say at any rate um, I picked up these Duluth trading jeans uh, Duluth sells very well um, you know this blue collar worker jeans basically the same thing as the flame resistant jeans uh, they're all blue collar jeans and these are in great condition as well um, not quite like new and i wouldn't put it like new on there i would just put 
in good condition probably. Uh, no tears, no fringing at the bottom. They're in really good condition actually. No stains, no holes. I always check the seams, uh, like here in the crotch area of uh, men and women, more so the women jeans, uh, because they have, they'll, they tend to fray on the inside and you don't really notice until you get it out in the open and start really looking into it. Uh, that's $6.99 as well. That'll probably be around $30 for those jeans. And then last are these. Uh, these are seven for all mankind. <laughs> Men's jeans as well. Once again, no fraying. Great condition. They'll sell but around $25 if I quick sell it. Seven for all sells really well. All right. Now into, oh. Picked up this North Face. It's like a pink, um, what do you call this material? Um, ah, I can't think of the name. Velour. It's like a pink velour North Face jacket. It's in decent condition. It's not in, see the, the ends are kind of frayed. You can tell they, uh, has under undergarments on that caught but in general it's in decent condition uh, i just picked up anything north face sells so i didn't look at any comps i probably listed for twenty dollars i think i paid 6.99 it was weird pretty much everything was 6.99 except that alpine Alpine Star Jacket. Another. Uh, it's another North Face Jacket. This one's in really good condition as well. Uh, no stains, no rips, no tears. Um, can't tell if it's men or women's. I think it might be unisex. Oh, it's men's. So it's a men's small. So S slash P right there. That's small slash petite. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be around $30 if I had to guess. It's just a raincoat. It's not a snow coat. So we'll see. And last is this little uh, depression glass. Uh, it is air blown. You see the bubbles in there. Uh, no seams. Pay 99 cent for it. Um, there's the where they took the ride out right there in the middle. In the middle right here. So when you blow it, then they kind of mold it at the top to make the the collar. Um, and it's all one piece. That's what you want to look for when you're looking at glass. Glass itself is hard to sell in general. But you want to look for things that doesn't have any seams. Unless it just have a, you know, hell of a maker's mark. I probably wouldn't pick it up much. But this one, I know, was uh, in that Depression era. Um, Hand-blown. With a, with a ruffled collar. I loved it. No chips, no anything. Uh, this I'll probably keep for a while. I won't list it. This is not an eBay sale. I mean, you can probably list it on eBay, uh, but this is a touch and feel kind of thing. You have to have that person that really likes it and loves it to buy that. Uh, push come to shove, I'll keep it. I don't mind. I love antiques. I have a whole storage unit full of antiques, a 20 by 10 storage unit, mostly furniture, but uh, I got a lot of uh, ceramics and uh, brass. And uh, then I have a separate five by five that I keep my paintings in uh, air, as air control. The 20 by 10 is non-controlled. So 
that's that. I think that's all I have for you. Oh, so I'll show you what I picked up from a online auction today. Oh, wait a minute. First, I also picked up this from Goodwill as well. Same Goodwill. Uh, Lego Friends, it's used, obviously. Uh, 41015. I paid $3.99 for it. There. And I haven't looked at it to see if it's complete. I'll do that later. But if it is complete, I can get around $45 for it. Uh, new, they're selling for around $100. Uh, I've seen sold comps for around $40 complete. Um, so I'm happy with that. But anyway, on the online auction, I got this um, Dacas Delahaye. Type 103 Bonneville. I think I seen something for around $40 on this. I had to go back and double check my verbiage on that. Then I got this really vintage uh, Humphrey Bogart frame poster. Yeah, it's really vintage. I'm trying to see if it has a it says 56 out of 65, but I don't know if that came from the printer or if somebody wrote that in. Uh, so 56 out of 65, that just simply means this is the 56 print out of a 65 run. But uh, I don't know, it says copyright 1956 printed in the USA. There's the credits right here. The printer credits. Movie credits. Uh, it is on... Oh, this is on board. And it's a copy on board, so it's not... It wasn't printed and pasted on the board. This is a board with the print already on it. Uh, yeah, I would have to do some more digging on this because that 56 out of 65 definitely is handwritten in in ink I had to I had to do some do some more research on that uh, oh also got this robot police car I couldn't really find nothing I seen it I tried to look it up online as I was bidding for it but I couldn't really find much on it if I can get $15 for it, I'll be happy. Uh, I got this Vest Cola uh, Can Bank. I got some little dates on there. St. Louis Cardinals 1986 baseball schedule. Don't know what it'll go for. Probably not much, if I had to guess. And last. I got this uh, reproduction uh, fight. Let's go join the Navy sign. Uh, it's a AAA sign. All right, so hopefully I shared some things uh, for you guys that may have opened you to some things that you may not already been looking at. Um, this is my typical little splurge that I usually do once every blue moon. <laughs> if that makes any sense, but. Uh, I enjoy it. If you guys have any questions for me about anything, uh, let me know. Uh, that's pretty much all I got for today. I'll follow back up tomorrow. I'll try to post some soul comps on the items on these video on this video, and uh, hopefully we can um, make some money. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.